All right, official release of 0 0.6.4. Uh, you'll notice that they, uh, obviously the UI changes. So there's a bar up here with a bunch more icons. Uh, you can also notice that there's a position bar on the second thing. Uh, so if we go here, we say load up this thing of uh, toilet paper earrings and we set our uh, we set zero, zero, goes into the corner, move it around, it'll adjust things. Okay, um, the big difference though is Raster Wizard. So let's go ahead and show that off. Let's delete this. Okay, so we have this. Uh, also, uh, this loaded up really giant compared to how it usually loads up because in Windows settings, there's a couple extra settings. No. One is image DPI scaling. So if the image itself has a DPI, it will natively use that. Uh, there's also launch job spooler start. So if you take this off and you say uh, start the job, it will, it just straight beeped. Okay, because uh, this didn't automatically go into any of these. Let me say red, blue, other. Okay, so let's go ahead and shrink this down to size. Like this. Okay, uh, let me make it a bit smaller so that I can show off some of the Raster Wizard features. Okay, so say I want to do this small enough Raster Wizard. Uh, there's a few scripts here. There's also some scripts in here. So this will just apply the script directly. So if you don't want to mess with it. Okay, so first let's go in the gold. This is the default. Uh, this is what it will look like in gold when it's complete. So what happens in Raster Wizard is it goes down the list. First it does a resample at step three. You can alter this step thing and it will uh, change the... It, it won't change the size that it ends up with, but it will change the resolution that the actual picture goes into. So every time you do this it'll increase the... Uh, it'll change the step size. So. It'll still end up the same picture in the end because the main point of Raster Wizard is to make sure that you can just uh, raster something correctly. So it'll run down here. It does grayscale. It does a contrast. Uh, you can also alter any of these. So if you wanted to say pop up the contrast some more, it will show you the end result of what your contrast changes did at the actual pixel level at the bottom. So say you up brightness this is the actual brightness of the resulting image when it does all of these processes so say if you got rid of the sharpen here it would show you precisely what happens to the image all the way through so it goes through all these steps and then runs and the important thing on raster wizard is first it's loaded up with a bunch of different scripts so let's say we go through uh, stippo uh, a bit light but is a uh, a raster pre-processing recipe that I found online uh, gravy took a while to figure out but this is about as good as you can get here you can see all these nice little lines from the thing it makes sure to sharpen all that uh, very nice for those uh, Zin it's pretty light uh, sharpening like if you check on the on sharp mask it does a hundred percent versus an eight most of the other ones do a lot more significant sharpening and then there's simple which all it does is uh resample grayscale and dither so this is basically just a pure dithered image uh it is yeah resampled at three so if i did it at two it would give you a bit more resolution all right so let me go ahead and just hit this okay now this is the image uh also you can select this way now it, so long as you're selecting leftwise, it will select this. Otherwise, you have to select the entire image going right, but you can go like this. Okay, so the important thing about this is that it is a completed image. So here, I can no longer do this. Like, I'm trying to change the size of the image. Let's say I go here. There is no change the size of the image. There's a couple things here. And what it is, is it is locked manipulations. So you can you can also output. So if you're going to run this in uh, 
some other program, you can just save out the output and run the script in here. So that's helpful and more useful regardless what your uh, your intended program is going to be. So let me unlock the manipulations. Then you go here. It's a little wire hard. Okay, so you can do this trick. So say once we do raster wizard, we just apply raster script. Uh, I'm not connected to the USB. So uh, image, uh, apply raster script, gold. Okay, so it just straight applied the gold raster script. Uh, invented by Rodney Gold, I believe, on some forum deep in the internet. Good job, Rodney. Okay, um, so when I hit start job, it just gives me a green light from the get-go. And none of the manipulations that you're permitted to do, you can't rotate, you can't resize, you can't uh, change it in any way that would screw up the actualization of the pixels. So it will always just run and then starts here and then accesses the uh, thing. Uh, let me go in the preferences and turn that off. Okay. So that is uh, the main part on Raster Wizard. And let me go to this and go ahead and hold control and then resume control. Because I turned on mock after it was running. Okay. So runs like this. Okay. Um. Next up, uh, a couple moder moderate little UI changes. Let's load this up and then in navigation, you'll notice that there's this button. Uh, this button goes to the beginning part of the thing. So let me go ahead and kill this. Stop, yeah, all right. So now I click this button and it jumps here because this is the first point in the uh, drawing and the uh, vector. So now when I move it here, it's moving along with the first point. But the main thing is that you can see where the start point is. Uh, it doesn't much matter because of the way the coordinate system works, but it's uh, something that was requested and something added. Okay, uh, another quick change is the rotary. Uh, when you turn on rotary now, and you go and you tell it to start job, uh, when you have home before and home after and you go to start job it'll say home before disabled rotary on home after disabled rotary on and it won't try to do the homing routine because it doesn't work when you set up for a rotary also there is a, an option for return to origin after so let me show that really fast okay so what happens with return the origin is it has an origin command here now when you execute uh, let me just do the cuts execute jobs just the cuts beep origin and all right execute start go so it'll just do the outside parts here uh, probably already did the inside part inside part outside okay and then it will run here but not as a home command Boom. So it beeped first and then went here. And so what you can do is you can use that to adjust your head in case you're doing rotary where you don't have access to the home but you still want it to go back to where you started. It'll uh, run this like it's uh, like a pseudo home that isn't really homing because what happens in the homing routine is it will go left and up until such time as it hits the end stops. All right. Um, I corrected a bug. Oddly enough, in the previous versions, you could set the PPI too high. The grids and guides are changed slightly, so you'll notice that there it only says uh, millimeter up here, which is my units, and then the rest of these are much smaller. There's a little bit of gapping. Uh, these lines are less uh, less dark. Uh, this selection widget is much dimmer and sort of uh, much more reasonable. So, uh, yeah, those are little UI tweaks that were recommended. All right, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, 0.6.4 is live.